All right, so our next tune in the key of A that we should learn is Ultra Clark. It's a really fun tune, and it kind of works on a lot of the things that we've been working on already, and some new ideas as well, a new chord this time. Okay, so I'll play the tune for you first. One, two, ready, and... existed and some kids and, a, and some of Joe's friends had fun teasing him by making up crazy lyrics about him. <laughs> Old Joe Clark, he had a house 15 stories high Every story in the house was filled with chicken and pie. I went down to Old Joe's house He was eating supper Stubbed my toe on the table and jammed my nose They're a lot of fun lyrics, and um, I recommend looking them up. So that's the tune and the song, and uh, let's start with the first phrase. Okay, so first phrase is... And... I should mention that I definitely recommend people to start hearing scales in tunes. So this is really a nice tune because it starts in the middle of the scale and it comes up and then comes back down. Um, and we also use two, um, we, we use a different note that we haven't used previously. We started using a G natural, or your low second finger on the E string. And I should mention that this, this tune uses a different, uh, slightly different scale than what we've been learning before. Previously we've been working on the A major scale, which is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and when we're in Old Joe Clark, we're going to use a G natural instead. So that scale is going to sound like this. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. So intonation-wise, we're going to have to move from C sharp to G back and forth. And that's what happens in that first and third phrase when we're going up the scale to the low G and back down to the C sharp. Okay, so always listening for scale patterns is a good thing. So let's do that phrase one more time. Ready? And. Great, and you got my going, which is excellent. I slow the last two notes. Uh, because we want to still continue that tradition of starting the phrase on a down bow and ending it on an up bow. Okay, now the second phrase is. is the same as the first, so we'll play that, and right, and the fourth phrase is very nice, yeah, so that was another place where we used the G instead of the G sharp, if it was major it would have sounded like this, very different tune. And I'm, yeah, thank you. I'm using my fourth finger A, which is on the D string, and the open A to make it sound like a drum at the same time. So let's try that again from the fourth phrase. And. Um, kind of slide in, I don't slide physically with my fourth finger, but I'm kind of sliding or sliming into that A by hitting the G again. 
G, G, A. Okay, so try that and. them, they're always there and we're using repeated material. Okay, so, and then the second phrase of the B part is... Let's put two A's and two B's together. Okay, old Joe Clark, ready, and... 